Well, if you can't tell from the opening screen, shit's gone down in Kimono, or Minato. So, um, yeah, let's just get right into it. Because I stopped recording to, stopped playing to, yep. Hello. Something tells me this is a fire monster. Because I highly doubt every one of these houses had. Were there a lot of torches through the town? I guess there were some of those. Maybe it knocked them over? And then it depends on how long it's been attacking for. Oh, so it attacked and left. Arigato gozaimasu. The last of the fires have finally been put out. It was the bird of Auspice. Amaterasu attacked us. She destroyed people's homes. Tried to kill people, even. We did our best to defend ourselves, but it was so sudden. The hunters had their hands full just trying to get people to refuge. Karakuri all over Minato are in ruins. Even the spirit wheel. The situation is dire on the seaward side of town. Every residence lies in ruin. We were powerless to do anything. All we could do was run for cover. It was pitiful. The bird of... Well, Amateras has flown over the town in the past. But she's never shown any sign of attacking before. We never felt that we were in any danger from her. I suppose we were reassured by that. We felt secure. But we'd been lulled into a false sense of security. Kemono are oblivious to the feelings of humans. Large Kemono, the Great Bear, and Amaterasu, for example, see humans like ants. A nuisance easily brushed aside. But we treat Kemono as they treat us. If they are a nuisance, we too strive to eliminate them. What in times of peace you call the bird of auspice? In times of war, you will simply call the enemy. You're so right. What is lost is lost. We must turn our faces from the past and gaze into the future. I was expecting an Amaratsu fight. Actually, yes. You're right again. There is something like it. Perhaps a perusal of my wares would be as good a place to start as any. An essential task, I have little doubt. Perhaps not one to prioritize over an assessment of the town. Haste hurts progress, as they say. I believe your place should be here in Minato's greatest hour of need. Oh, here's the other thing. If it's dead. Sure. But. 
our character's expertise in, you know, monster hunting. Not really in other things. Oh, good. It didn't destroy my house, at least. There she is. All right. Perhaps this tragedy could have been prevented. But for mere mortals, the aggressor was too strong. The kimono grow ever more desperate. They tussle for territory. They clash for prey. I feel like Amaratsu is in the main threat. Now drives them to kill one another. And Minato is not the only casualty soon across all of asthma nature will be destroyed plants will wither lizards will howl mountains will crumble until finally rising waters will cover it all but in you in you is the power to stop this in you there is the seed for some it is a duty for others destiny and for you you have the strength to hunt these gargantuan kimono but do you have the will what compels you to hunt now? The same noble answer still? Yet your words take on new meaning now. For the threats once made is now very real. Where is resolve in your words? Unfaltering and true, which leaves but one thing to say you must value life, or all that awaits is death. Above all, survive. Sorry for stepping in your leg, dude. Now I can watch Ridge Gaming's video on this. We know Amaterasu was attempting to establish territory around the old castle. That resulted in the ousted Rasetsu's attempt at taking the spirit out. Yes, we're seeing more and more kimono leaving their usual stomping grounds. And there can only be one logical cause, of course! Of course? Maybe this is one time we should just jump to the conclusion, Sensei? All across Azma, and perhaps beyond, the celestial thread that sustains kimono is drying up. That explains why Amaterasu targeted the town. Celestial Thread is now in abundant supply here. Are you trying to say? Exactly. It's trying to absorb Minato into its territory. Reviving the Karakuri on the Spirit Isle was... <sighs> cavalier. But that was done for Minato's survival. The Hime-sama, the Elders, everyone agreed it was the right thing to do. Anyway... What's done is done. Now we have to eliminate this bird before it gets too damn comfortable in our town. We need your skills here. Find out where Amaterasu is now. No. The burden's too great for a lone hunter. And besides, rather than blindly searching, waiting here would be far more practical. We can be sure it will return. 
It will be eager to conclude its territorial claim. Then we have to bolster our defenses. And fast. Can we ready the calibre we used against the Earthbreaker? This is akin to siege warfare. Though the investment is a single foe. We need to prepare and deploy carefully. I'll take command. Goodness, Ujishige! Such motivation and not a sake cup in sight! <laughs> Who do you think I am? I was a samurai general once. Now, I've got a hundred things to do. I'll leave the Karakuri with you. Well, his military expertise will certainly be useful. But, we can't ignore the overwhelming strength of our enemy. We need a secret weapon. In fact, I was just talking to Natsume about that. It's probably better if she explains herself. You should find her assessing the damage to the spirit wheel. I'm probably going to be cutting a lot of this out. Besides the talks. There's not a, like a corpse down there, is there? I know there's that one girl standing here. Okay, just making sure. territory at the moment their bodies seem to be undergoing changes we might be able to get the sort of materials we need from these clashing kimono but they're fiercer than ever so please be extra careful i don't want you to get hurt Arigato. then let's no waste any time all right so we're really gonna have us hunt for it. if it's like basic monsters in this chapter we'll just be Hunt the kimono. Okay, let's see what type of kimono we Ice Tusk and King Tusk. Here, demon rot. No. Large scale and Sakura stone. Now that I'm in high rank, I should be getting different. Materials from killing these guys. There's sharp skill. Raven cap. No, oh, let's go ahead and.
there's a... Whatever. Yeah, that's definitely a dread claw. Hey, big guy, hold this. Still falls over like an idiot. What's that? I'm getting my ass handed to me. Okay, still. Thank you, game. Start a kick. Good to know. Oh, it's sleep. That better not have. I wish you could roll while in that menu. Man, I'm playing like shit today. I guess I used most of my energy on that King Tusk fight. I pressed roll, but I got end lagged. Bullshit game.
Okay, good. Seems the small monsters are a bit more of an annoyance now. This is just a... Uh, this looks like a frost. Nope. Oh, there's some demon rock. Just need a little more of that and I'll be fine. I thought he would have a frame for me to get. Okay, you can do a full 360 with that now. No, oh, I don't got any healing water, so I'm just gonna leave. Try and find some. So so far, he doesn't got much changed about him besides the fact that he sleeps. shoulder tackling. Here. 
was about to say, you should be getting ready to retreat. You're not biting me and killing me. It's as simple as that. I'm not dying to a fucking rat. In fact, is he going right? It looks like he's heading this way, so I can just quickly grab my rod and come back. Offer the full experience of a fight, because they don't have their full move set unlocked. I don't know if this game's going to get a master mode. Let's just quickly do that. That's such an annoying move to dodge. I pressed roll, but, you know frames not being fully there, they don't fully interact with me. Ow. Fair. Big DPS move out. Come here. bet I just suck. <laughs> I'll have to see if he gives some good skills or not. And the ones I haven't fought are the ones that I gave me a little bit of trouble in low rank. Such as Fenrir. Fenrir, yeah. Once we get the Ice Boy, that's the main one we're gonna take care of. And then any new subspecies I haven't seen yet. Because I feel like it's gonna be a little bit before we introduce a brand new monster. Because usually high rank they just throw a few subspecies at you because that's what I've mainly heard because we've seen fume beak there's now coral beak 
Then there's Rip Claw here. And yes, yes, I know how high rank materials work. Let's see what Ripclaw's armor looks like. If Ripclaw has an armor set. Which he does. It's a mixture of Coral Beak and... Lunge Bolster. Boost the power of lunge attacks. Resurrection Recovery. Fate Share. There's not much here that I actually think of. Gallantry? Boost... Yeah, I don't really like any of that. Right, whatever. That's going to be it for now. I'm going to be recording just in a quick row, so 9 out of 10. If you do message something and be like, Oh, by the way, there's this cool thing you can do. I'm 9 out of 10 not going to see it because I'm going to be pretty much going at getting this fully done pretty quickly.